Fire in the hole, fire in the hole. For over two decades, the U.S. has been working on one of the most ambitious water projects, a $690 million reservoir designed to protect Colorado's future. It's the tallest drinking water dam built in the country in the last 20 years. But just as it neared completion, the whole thing hit an unexpected snag. Tests found uranium in the very rock used to build it, and now the water might not be safe to drink. How did a project meant to secure clean water end up facing a contamination problem? Let's take a closer look. Chimney Hollow is tucked into a quiet valley just southwest of Loveland, Colorado. No rivers run through it, no homes needed relocating, just a dry basin surrounded by rocky hills, unassuming but perfectly placed. That's exactly why planners chose it. It offered fewer environmental hurdles, no endangered species to work around, and the bonus of being close to existing infrastructure from the Colorado Big Thompson project. The reservoir wouldn't need an entirely new network. It could plug into what was already there. The land itself had a strange backstory. It used to belong to Hewlett Packard, which once envisioned it as a corporate retreat in the 1990s. That never happened. In 2004, Northern Water and Larimer County bought the land for just under $4 million using some state lottery funds aimed at preserving open space. Instead of a tech getaway, the site is now becoming the centerpiece of Colorado's long-term water future, a 3,500-acre reservoir with the capacity to store nearly 29 billion gallons of water, enough to supply half a million people. And to hold that much water? They needed something big, really big. At 350 feet tall and over two-thirds of a mile long, Chimney Hollow is the tallest new dam built in the U.S. in two decades. But instead of the typical clay core, this one uses an asphalt core, a watertight, ultra-dense mix designed to act like a rubber seal inside a mountain of rock. Northern Water, the agency behind the project, had to blast nearly 25 million tons of rock from an 80-acre quarry right on the construction site. That rock was then crushed and trucked into the dam. We're talking about 12 million cubic yards of rock fill and 75,000 cubic yards of asphalt concrete. There's also a secondary structure, a saddle dam that seals off a nearby low point to prevent water escape. This was one of Colorado's largest mining operations. Over 20 million pounds of explosives were used. About 500 workers were on site each day, blasting, hauling, and building. By mid-2025, construction was complete. The dam was ready. The engineering had gone according to plan. But then came the tests, and that's when things took an unexpected turn. In mid-2025, just weeks before Chimney Hollow was scheduled to begin filling, Northern Water ran one final series of water quality tests. This is standard procedure. We don't spend $690 million and start pumping water into a new reservoir without checking it first. At first, the data looks routine. But then, something strange showed up. Uranium. And not just trace amounts. Some samples contained concentrations more than seven times the legal limit for safe drinking water in the U.S. Now, before you imagine nuclear reactors and Geiger counters, let's take a step back. The uranium found at Chimney Hollow is not enriched. It's not the kind used in nuclear weapons or energy plants. This is naturally occurring uranium, weakly radioactive and something that exists in many parts of the world especially in granite bedrock like what's found throughout Colorado. The danger here isn't radiation, it's chemical toxicity. When uranium is present in drinking water, even in small amounts, it can, over time, harm the kidneys. That's why the EPA set the maximum contaminant level at 30 micrograms per litre. In everyday terms, that's about one grain of salt dissolved in an entire swimming pool. At Chimney Hollow, some tests clocked in at 225 micrograms per litre. That's like dropping seven or eight grains of salt into that same pool. Not enough to cause immediate harm, but far too much for a public water system. What's especially interesting 
is how the discovery unfolded. The earliest warning came not during scheduled lab work, but during spring 2023 storms. Unusually heavy rain forced emergency water releases at the still unfinished site. Runoff samples were collected at the time, showing surprising uranium levels. But it wasn't until the 2025 pre-fill tests, when water contact with dam rock was sustained, that the full scale of the leaching problem became clear. So what happened? The core of the Chimney Hollow Dam is built from rock quarried directly on site, tens of millions of tons of it. That rock, much of it granite, contains trace amounts of uranium. And as water flows over and through it, those trace minerals begin to leach out. The process is slow, invisible, and until now, completely unexpected. It's the geological version of making tea. Put enough water in contact with enough rock for a long enough time, and you'll extract what's inside. In this case, that includes uranium. Geologists knew uranium existed in Colorado granite, but until now, none of the reservoirs in the Colorado Big Thompson system, including Windy Gap, had shown uranium leaching at this scale. Chimney Hollow's unique construction method, massive surface area, and water rock interaction changed that. And with that, Northern Water made the call. No water would go to the public until it could be made safe. So now they had a 350 foot dam, 29 billion gallons of potential storage, and a massive population counting on it, and the water might not be usable. Which brings us to the obvious next question What do you do when your mega reservoir suddenly fails a water test? As serious as it sounds, the uranium issue isn't a death sentence for Chimney Hollow. Engineers and health officials are working on three primary solutions. One, dilution and blending. The simplest approach would be to mix uranium-tainted water with clean water from other reservoirs in the system until the overall concentration drops below the EPA's 30 microgram threshold. Think of it like watering down a strong cup of coffee until it becomes safe to drink. Since the Colorado Big Thompson system spans dozens of reservoirs, this might be viable during years with strong snowmelt. But it comes with risks especially during dry years when every drop of clean water matters. 2. Advanced filtration Another option is to treat the water using specialised filtration systems, either before or after it leaves the reservoir. The cities that rely on Chimney Hollow, places like Greeley, Loveland, Longmount and Broomfield, already operate water treatment plants. These could be upgraded to include reverse osmosis or ion exchange systems both of which are capable of removing uranium. But the cost isn't trivial. Retrofitting multiple plants could run into tens of millions of dollars, and maintenance costs for advanced filtration aren't cheap. 3. The Big Flush Then there's the natural cleaning approach. Some hydrologists believe Chimney Hollow might self-clean. As the reservoir fills and water circulates, much of the loose uranium could flush out over time. If true, levels might drop naturally, but that theory's never been tested on a reservoir this size. Northern Water's current plan is a controlled first fill. Water will be slowly added, monitored constantly, and sent to treatment plants, not homes. If uranium levels fall or remain manageable, Chimney Hollow could still begin full operation by 2027. But the bigger question lingers. Should they have caught this earlier? Could geological surveys have predicted uranium leaching from granite? Or was this simply one of those rare, hard-to-foresee consequences of building something this big in such a geologically complex area? Whatever the case, the outcome will be closely watched, not just in Colorado, but across the American West. As water scarcity intensifies and more reservoirs are proposed in tough terrain, Chimney Hollow could become a case study in the unintended consequences of large-scale infrastructure. After 20 years of planning, nearly $700 million spent, and one of the most advanced dam projects in the US, Chimney Hollow hit a problem no one saw coming. Not bad engineering, not budget overruns, but the rock itself. Should they have seen it coming? Or is this just one of the risks of building at this scale? Let us know what you think in the comments. 
And if you want more Megabuild stories like this, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.